Oh my God. Vatican update. Wow. Um, I'm having my lunchtime Prosecco. It's all about the Sistine Chapel and St. Peter's Basilica. I didn't realize that St. Peter was buried. His tomb is in the center of St. Peter's Basilica. I don't know how I managed to have that escape me, but, um, wow. And seriously, my friends, I'm only on my second class. I had um, a real epiphany in the church. Um, well, first of all, I got to be at a mass and have communion, which was transforming. Because it's such a natural one. I mean, okay, it's a man-made wonder, but you can... I mean, it's 2,000 years old. That's when... Peter was buried, 160 A.D. And the inscription, Peter is here. Wow. I spent at least two hours at the St. Peter's. I did do the cupola. Thank you, Laura. So you walk up, you paid 10 euros, and <laughs> walk up only 300 steps instead of 500 and then you get to the very top of the whole church and you see the most magnificent view of Rome. Wow. You can't even believe it. Of course, everybody else is there too. Um, but so what? You know, it was spectacular. And actually, because it was a rainy day, I don't think there was that many people, but you go through these really skinny corridors, up, 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 up. This one little kid, he looked like he was about 12. He was having an anxiety attack. So if you don't like tiny spaces, don't do it. Didn't bother me one bit. Um, but definitely do it. So it's the cupola. And I thought I was done just looking at the dome, and then I found out, oh, you have to actually climb up the steps. To see the view, I, you're just like awestruck. You feel like you're in heaven looking down on ants in the world. It really puts your problems in perspective. Um, so the Sistine Chapel, oh my God, another epiphany. There was a priest there and he did a blessing. Um, I don't know, he just like appeared of nowhere like an angel and then I don't know what he was saying because he was speaking Italian. And then at the end, he said, if anybody wants to come forward for a blessing, I went front and center because everybody else was acting shy. And I'm like, nope, I'd like a blessing. So I got the blessing and I just started crying. It was so beautiful. What he said in, in the Sistine Chapel. I mean, you can feel Michelangelo in there. Sistine Chapel. The Vatican museums are all about the Sistine Chapel for me. Anyway, I'm discovering myself in a new way. And uh, I just wanted to share that update with you because it was just amazing to be at the Vatican. I think I saw the house where the Pope lives, but I'm not sure. It was right next to the Basilica, and I'm like, I wonder if the Pope lives there. I'll have to find out. Anyway, update from Rome. Stay tuned for more, four more days in this amazing, one of the oldest cities in the world, um, cities.